Hello everyone and welcome to a sunny day in San Diego. It is currently Wednesday, July, whatever, and I am at the end of my trip to the Mega Studio and to SDCC. And this video was brought to you by Mega and The Domain. They're really just sponsoring my content going forward. I'm gonna have so many more proper concrete details here very soon. And I was meant to be recording a massive SDCC recap roundup video, but my energy is based basically depleted. I have been working solid for like, it's, it's honestly been the busiest, the hardest working two weeks of my entire life. Uh, going to the mega studio, soaking all that in, and then going to SDCC and working there. It's been a journey of a lifetime and I will have proper reflections on it once I'm back in England. In the meantime, I thought I'd bring you something today anyway because I was meant to be bringing you this recap video and I have a fun interview with the lead that was helping us at SDCC with the Mega Magikarp build and it's just a fun interview. Our energy levels are next to nothing in this video, like we've been working solid for four or five days. So <laughs> it's literally in the last closing couple of hours of SDCC, but I thought you'd enjoy it. Please, without further ado, check it out. Hello everyone and welcome to the final day of SDCC. I can't really believe it is already the final day. It has been both the fastest and slowest time you know what i mean like we we've been we've been working some hours here yeah yeah i'm joined by phil uh what's your exact role at mega phil my role mega is i'm manager of the creative shops uh, his team is uh, in fact the master builders and we are the one that creating special builds for exhibitions events and sdcc like like today mm. how many sdccs do you have under your belt now it's the fourth one in san diego we did a couple of uh, New York Comic Cons also. Right, I mean, you seem like a pro at this point. We're getting experience. I mean, it's been my first con, working at least. You know, I, I used to go to London Comic Con a lot. Um, I was never really briefed properly on the scale of this place. It's not just that it's one big building, it's like an entire city, right? Like, it's a culture that overflows onto all the streets. It's really something to witness. It's as big outside than inside. It really is, it really is. Um, and we've been on the mega booth for five, I mean, you five days, me four days, right? That's right. Time, time has flown, yeah. I spent the first couple of days sort of in an office just working on editing and the last two days I've been on the showroom floor which has been very very enjoyable. I've literally been building the motion magic up for the majority of this time. You can see it in this display cabinet now. It's been really fun promoting it and the the fan interactions have been priceless like people really enjoy this build, Definitely right? Definitely a very nice set. It, it, it really is, yeah. I, I've managed to bag most SDCC exclusives before, but this one is really special. Obviously behind us, the life-size one-in-one replica of Magikarp. It, it is a true one-in-one -one scale, right? Yeah, exactly. 30 inches uh, wide. Obviously the fans have been blown away by the fact that this thing moves. Uh, I, like, what was the biggest challenge of that process? Definitely this year is the mechanism, the movement, that was really challenging for us. Uh, the team worked very hard to achieve this, but uh, we believe that the result is there. The result is spectacular. And the other thing that the audience has clearly been very happy with is this marbling effect on the bricks. It's pretty much like a mega signature thing, right? Exactly. The bricks are our marble colors. The, those bricks are very signature for us. This year we used it a little bit differently. We sorted the colors, so the light blue through the dark blue, so we can have a nice gradient from the bottom to the top of the roof. Right, I mean, I do that when I'm making dioramas all the time. It's one of my favorite things to do with mega. Really? I mean, can you believe we're closing off SCC? You see? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I, I can't. I'm taking three days off in San Diego. I am lying on the beach. I think it's well earned. We've been working hard and uh, the results have been pretty spectacular. Yeah. Very nice. Very yeah. nice week. I mean, here's to SDCC 2023, everyone. Phil, I'll Thank shake you. your hand. I've shook your hand many, yes. many times this weekend. It was fun. It's been a real pleasure. pleasure. A real pleasure. pleasure. Great guy to work with. Thanks to Mega for sponsoring this video and I honestly cannot describe the immense joy I have with being able to work with Mega directly. We filmed so many incredible behind the scenes videos at their office and you've just got to be patient for those to come out. And when they do, believe me, like I think the reward will be there. And uh, yeah, just thanks for anyone who's believed in me. I'm gonna go enjoy the day at the beach 
I went to Mexico for the first time on Monday, and I guess Canada for the first time, and San Diego for the first time, and I need a rest. The binding of the domain, Mega, the community, it's all going to be so great going forward. So shout out to you all, you stay awesome, you stay safe. Domain, signing off. You stay classy, San Diego. Thank you.